This is an ancient Japanese sustainable forestry technique called Daizugi. It allows lumber production without cutting down trees. The lumber produced in this method is 140% as flexible as standard cedar and 200% as dense strong. Specially planted cedar trees are pruned heavily. Think of it as a giant bonsai. The shoots are carefully and gently pruned by hand every two years, leaving only the top bows allowing them to grow straight. Harvesting takes 20 years and old tree stock grows up to 100 shoots at a time. Originally invented by the people of the region of Kitayama, the method was used to solve the problem of the shortage of seedlings. There is little flat land in this region and planting and raising trees on the steep slopes proved extremely difficult. As a result, Daizuki tailoring allowed arborists to reduce the number of plantations, make the harvest cycle faster and produce denser wood as well. In the 14th century, a form of very straight and stylized architecture was high fashion, but there simply weren't nearly enough raw materials to build these homes for every noble or samurai who wanted one. Hence this clever solution of using Bondi techniques on trees. The technique helped to produce lumber that's way more dense than that of a regular zuki. In the forests around Kyoto, you'll find abandoned giant daisugi, still alive, some with trunk diameters over 15 meters. They only produce lumber for about 200 to 300 years before being worn out. Over the years, the popularity of such tree tailing has declined. Today, these types of cedar mostly grow in well-kept gardens because of their slender and elegant appearance. Bonus! Why do Japanese arborists nishiwashi and gardeners wear only natural blue dyed cotton? The dye in the cloth comes from a plant that is naturally insect repellent, keeping insects away without chemicals. Leaf of Life is going to be interviewing Japan specialist Professor Joy Hendry, the author of Science and Sustainability, Learning from Indigenous Wisdom, where she will be discussing sustainable practices in Japanese culture and referencing other indigenous science examples. We can all benefit from today. So please subscribe to be notified when that will be released and make sure to click the bell. Thank you very much. Goodbye. We would like to credit and thank Wrath of Gnome on Twitter for the images and original tweets of Daisuki Forestry.